I'm here at Panther Stadium, home with the Maybank Panthers. Since November, there has been a vacancy in the head football coaching position until now. The Panthers have found themselves a winning football coach that only cares about football, but the players themselves. Let's hear about some of the first impressions the coach had on meeting players for the first time. My impression on Coach Hare and what I believe he'll do for us and what he can do for us is just mainly how he talks about our attitude. He works about attitude more than just football. Not only is he a football coach, but he's like a motivational speaker, I would say, like for our life. He just, he's focused on our life because there's more than football after high school football. The first thing he said to me was I was a good looking sophomore. Actually, he asked me if I was a junior. Kind of got me, uh, kind of got me pumped up. So he's a great guy, great coach, and I'm glad we have him. He wants us to be something in life. He don't want us to expect to go all, all the way with football. He wants us to do something. After high school, I mean, there, you gotta have a plan. Hey, East Texas, I'm Trevor Peel. I'm here with the new hired head coach of Maven, Coach Allen Here, He spent the last 13 seasons at Lago Vista coaching the Vikings. Now, Coach Hare, 13 seasons over there. You posted an 81-62 and 62 record. It was your, this is your third football program to take over. You started there in 2002. Five years, you make your first playoff appearance. What does it take those first five years to kind of to get your building block uh, ready? Well, first you have to come in and, and set the mentality and the attitude of, of where you want to take the kids and, and let them know that uh, you're there for them and that uh, you're there to build a relationship with them, whether it's uh, um, impacting wins and losses on the field, but whether or not we can be a better people. And once we determine we're going to be a better person by being part of the program, uh, it was easier to get buy-in. And uh, that's how we started, was just building a relationship with kiddos at the beginning. Now, in 2010, uh, you make it to the D1, uh, 2A Division I semifinals with the Vikings. How did that feel as a coach and uh, knowing that you just built this program and it's headed somewhere? <laughs> Well, you know, Lago had started football in 2000, and they had one win in two years, and to see it go from uh, establishing in 2000 to playing at uh, Daryl Royal Memorial Stadium uh, was, pretty, was pretty special for us and our program, and especially for those kids after 10 years in existence of a program. But uh, uh, pretty satisfying, but uh, uh, we came up short there to advance to the finals, but it was a good run that year. Now also in 2013, you had a DQ game of the week as well. Tell me a little bit about that one. We played um, in Refugio, uh that very same year. Uh, they had an eight-year, 62-game winning streak at home. Mm -hmm. um, we had heard of the, the outlandish scores that they had been uh, beating people by, and so that, that motivated us as a program wanting to play the best people, because that's the only way to get better. And so uh, they beat us the first year we played them, the second year we traveled down there to their place and, and scored a winning touchdown in the last 19 seconds and so forth, but to, to break an eight-year uh, winning streak there at, at, at their place was pretty special as well. Yeah, that is very awesome. Again, with Coach here, the new hired head coach of Maybank, that's a little bit about his past posting an 81-62 and 62 record at Lago Vista. Now, Coach, let's move on. You're now hired here at Maybank. 13 seasons at Lago Vista. Did you just wake up one day and realize, man, I need to, I need to, it's time for me to move on. I've done all I can here. Or was it just a process after 10 years, let me apply here? Well, definitely uh, sometimes as a professional you want to grow. Uh, you want to get outside of your comfort zone sometimes. Uh, you want to challenge yourself. You don't want to get stale. And you also want to feel that uh, the good Lord is leading you to where you should should make a difference. And uh, uh, that the, so many doors had opened here and, and uh, it fit my experience of where your program program uh, is currently and, and it needed some life you know to be um, inserted into it and so I, I felt it was a great uh, opportunity to use what fit my experience where, where I had been with Lagavis and maybe I can apply some of those same principles and those attitude adjustments and attitudinal traits to to help these kids uh, see that uh, uh, we can be not only good football players but be good people and tie those two things together and build a program. Now Coach Harry, you're a winning coach. You know, there's jobs out there that possibly are on, that have winning streaks going on that possibly would love to have you. Why'd you choose Maybank? Ah, wow, that's a great question. Um, I felt it was a, a place that uh, was in need of some accomplishment. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I felt that uh, the kids would be hungry to buy into what I had and to see uh, if, if we could make it, you know, make a change here. And 
it's a challenge. I love a challenge. Uh, that that's the opportunity that exists, and uh, every kid needs a coach that believes in them and that that, that they feel gives them an advantage. And uh, so I, I felt that this would be a great place to try to do that. Now talking about getting some things done, what are some of the first few steps that you plan, whether they be in little or big, that you plan on taking as a new head coach to kind of get this program going in the right direction? Well, the first thing we did uh, the. the Monday was my first day, I guess the 26th. Uh, we instituted a character curriculum where we um, we study six attitudinal traits. We start off with attitude. Uh, uh, we carry on through uh, from self-esteem to goals to, to character. You know, I'm, they know that I'm going to invest in them as a person first. Mm -hmm. I'm going to build a relationship with them before I can ever coach them. I can't expect to coach them if I don't know them. Mm -hmm. So that's going to, that's the process. Uh, that, that, that's what we started, you know, what I started to do on Monday. And uh, I think that they'll trust me knowing that I care about them as a person more than just a player. Because the playing days will come, but we yes. got to we got to determine the character first and get that built. So first thing is identify is is, is definitely character, not what and how uh, we're going to do, but who I was. Mm -hmm. That's what I tried to focus on. Now I have talked to some of the players. You've made your impression on them so far. Speaking of those ways, what are some of the ways that you, as a coach, kind of use to kind of become a mentor and become a, a figure for these athletes, whether it's uh, taking visits at their house, making phone calls, sending a text message. Uh, what are some of the things that you do? First meeting, of course, give me your cell phone number. I'm not a social media guy, so I'm not going to be on social media, but they, they can call me 24-7, 365. We've already, you know, a lot of them have already texted me, but, uh, you know, Coach is, is one of the greatest titles in the universe, and um, we have a platform to reach people. And so really, uh, our mission field is the kids that we uh, have uh, access to and that we can impact. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, uh, not only through communication through the, the cell phone system, but I will make a personal visit to their house this spring and next before next fall before we get started because I want to see their environment, meet their parents and let them know that they're giving them to a guy that they, the parents know that they can trust me. Um, and that and they know I'm accessible and that they know that their, their child is going to be well taken care of by letting them be a part of our program. So that, in a nutshell, what we're going to do. What are some goals that you have set not only for yourself uh, but for the program? Because it's not something that's going to change overnight. It's a process. But what are some of the goals you've laid out in front of you right now? Well, just initially, uh, we want to be more competitive. Mm -hmm. uh, number one, we need to be mentally tough. Um, and those two things, uh, you know, we're going to have to, we're going to have to, uh, um, institute over time here, like I said, the process. But the first thing I was doing, not only teach them how to be a better person, I've got to recruit. Mm -hmm. I've got to let these kids know who I am and that, uh, that, that give me a chance to work with them. Because you need numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, numbers is, is success because those are the games where, you know, in the fourth quarter, you, you, you need some kids that, uh, can be able to give you some some good minutes without being fatigued. Mm -hmm. So um, recruit, uh, character building, um, um, and, and mental, mental toughness because those are some things you identify with great programs. Their kids are mentally tough and they're competitors. One other thing, Coach, before I wrap things up, tell me and some of the Maybank community, what are some characteristics and attributes that make you Coach Allen here? Uh, uh, number one, I don't think anybody's going to outwork me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to do my due diligence to, to work hard for these kids. This is their only experience in high school athletics, and I want it to be the most enjoyable experience of their life. Uh, I want them to look back five, ten years from now and, and, and know that, uh, or they at least think, man, I appreciate Coach here. I appreciate him giving us the opportunity to be successful, and they enjoyed playing for me, and they, you know, they enjoyed being part of the program. Uh, but they may not, never w remember their records, you know, they may never wins and losses come and go, because that's not permanent, but who they are remains the same forever, and they know that I helped develop uh, a few of the characteristics that they carry on out of high school. Again, awesome interview here with Coach Allen Hare, the new head coach of Maybank High School, looking to turn things around. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.